Hi, welcome to my channel on Twitter. Hey guys. I'm not used to this type of quality. I remembered the journey, the multiple hospital admittance, Christmas in hospital, feeling unsure, even regretful, the health scares again, feeling big, unpretty, uncomfortable. And then he arrived. They connected instantly. But for some reason, I felt disconnected, distant, even in the sweet moments. So I left for 21 days. And then... Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. A fire started to gain momentum. We were inseparable, waking up together. His <laughs> first love. Oh uh, do you want the mocha no one? <laughs> sir, can you stop looking at yourself and drink? Thank you, sir. Watching him grow to be his own person every day and realizing I can give him the life I've always dreamed of. And you two can give us that life. This little boy can even say no. So I want to give him whatever he wants. And I know you two can give us that life. So I'm here with a vengeance and I'm not looking back. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Naradu Kuberi, as you should know. But if you don't know, now you know. <sighs> I'm back. This time, I am back, you guys. I'm back. Like, this time, I have a reason to just go really, really hard. And that's exactly what I am going to do. So, as you guys can see by the title, I'm sure you're wondering, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I am a mother. I am a new mother, first time mother, and um, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm sorry about the flashing. The flashing. I'm sorry that the quality is not what you guys are used to, but um, for this video, I had to make it... Um, in a way that i can see myself because um this little person that i want to show into the video i have to make sure that things are still looking good things are still looking cute so um yeah guys i'm a new mother let me show you the person who made me a mother okay come little person He's playing with his diaper because that's the only thing that's quiet um, that he can play with. And he's just looking at me like, bro, we gotta fix you up, boy. We gotta look good. What's happening? It's not cooperating. Said hello. But yeah, say hi. Say hi. Look there. Look there. Look, look. This is Omari. This is my son. Um, at first, people used to confuse him to be a girl, but now I think. Um, <laughs> looking like a boy. Looking like a whole boy. Yeah, looking like a cute boy. Um, so, this is Omari and. Yeah, this is the cute little person who made me a mother. And, um, 
yeah i'm going to put him down i just wanted you to see him see his cute little face <laughs> did they see the cute little face did they see the cute little face did you see this i am a day i am a one day i am a one day they think he's going to do it the way Okay, I read it by myself. Oh, mommy, quickly folks. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's now seven months. He's just turned seven months, and it's it's crazy, but it's been quite a journey. Um, one thing I will say that really, really stood out for me is that. Okay, so I'm going to share my experience. I'm going to share my experience. I'm going to share um, what I've learned. And I'm going to share a screenshot of a an Instagram post I came across, which I just relate to. Um, maybe some new mothers can relate to it as well. But um, let's get into my experience. So it being my first experience has been crazy still crazy now it is draining um emotionally physically mentally just all of that but it 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 really does have its golden moments you know moments where i feel like giving up and he just i know it sounds a little cliche but his smile just like reminds me that listen it's gonna be all worth it and it's all worth it but how I'm feeling right now and my experience during pregnancy post birth and now seven months in I'm not sure if I would go through this again you know um, I just feel like there's certain things you can do once and they just put a stamp on how you feel about um, other experiences you know i'm not sure if i'm making sense but that's just how i'm feeling right now and i don't think it's gonna change i think it's um it's kind of traumatized me you know and not in a way that i think it's gonna change it's definitely definitely um yeah yeah so um that's just how i'm feeling and I think most of that comes from the treatment, you know, not to make anybody sound bad. There's that TLC, tender loving care, when you're pregnant and there's that TLC post birth when you just come back from the hospital and then it kind of just disappears, you know, you're just left to fend for yourself and the baby you know and it really has it hurts it hurts angers me as well but i mean i'm the one who decided to have a baby so that's that on that but i wish the care was constant you know i wish there wasn't this whole thing of yeah now welcome to motherhood we're gonna leave you alone i'll figure it out uh be sad be overly exhausted all of that um that's what comes with being a mother which just yeah it really it doesn't make me feel good whatsoever i was still in it i was still going strong um i hope months on it gets better but i just want to get financially free like i want to get to a point where financially i can take care of myself get my own apartment get a helper and i will be happy and i help her to just do things like laundry cooking cleaning and just looking after the baby for a few minutes without calling me you know that would make the like a huge amount of difference and hopefully i'll be able to go back on my medication for some reason, family and friends feel like medication made me worse, but it actually helped me. It's just that they don't know the depths of everything that I go through on a daily basis. So they might think like 
it made me worse but it really really helped me like i can feel the difference yeah but i'm not gonna get into that that's a different video for a different segment yeah but i wish that tlc was just constant you know I, 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 I from what i've gone through i will definitely if any of my friends or family if they were to have a baby like i would literally pack my bags pack my baby's bags and go and help that mother out because listen it's rough um and i wish that wasn't the case because it adds this gloominess to motherhood and that's why some women after having the first child they're like i'm done thank you it's a wrap and that's how i'm feeling right now which it's very very unfortunate secondly like how i feel about myself really has taken a different direction about how i feel especially about my body i wish i enjoyed my body pre-pregnancy because i had a i had a i had a good body okay i had a nice body but i was just I was just obsessed about the little things, you know, but slowly but surely I'm starting to love this new body that I'm in. Not love, but I'm starting to accept and I think after acceptance, then I'll start to love it as well. And definitely having a schedule has helped. Putting this baby on a schedule has helped bring some sort of um, consistency and not me having to figure out what the baby needs unless he's sick i mean it's a bit of a scramble but mm, it is a bit of a scramble but that being said let's get into the screenshot i was scrolling on instagram and i came around the screenshot which i will share with you guys so it says so true after having a child i realized that in the eyes of society in the eyes of society mothers cannot complain who told you to have children cry why are you crying do you think it was easy tired tired of what you do nothing sleep you're lazy rest you will have plenty of time for that after it grows up get pregnant again are you crazy how many more children will you want leave your job how will you support your child work who will take care of your child leave them in the nurses in hmm. leave them in the nursery let others raise it um being a housewife poor husband he works too much and his wife stays at home being single nobody wants a woman with children going out for fun leave the son with the grandmother for fun and do you know which is worse? Ninety percent of these phrases are spoken by other women. So, yeah, I mean that's just my thoughts all into one. Like, once you become a mother, it's just this thing of there's nothing you can do. Your life is over. Rest is over. Fun is over. Your life is over it's about the baby you know but i feel like there's a better way of no scrap that you're still you but you have another person to accommodate it shouldn't be that your life is over and i, I really hope i'm going to help change that whole narrative and other mothers really we come together and change that narrative because that that is bull and that needs to end because that puts mothers in a very bad head space where you think of either hurting yourself hurting the baby giving up the baby for adoption like just a whole lot of things you you think all the time and i'm not gonna say i'm past that phase i still have moments where i think of removing myself from the picture but i i worry about who's gonna look after him and who they look after in the same yeah but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching this channel for watching this video i am going to drop a nighttime routine in two weeks time Is it two weeks on the 4th of september 
it's going to be a nighttime routine i hope you guys really enjoy that i've tried to make it very narrated or like quite interesting but honestly it's a nighttime routine and that just certain things i can't make too short i need to show you exactly what my nighttime routine looks like but yeah let's stop this whole narrative of gloominess and heaviness around motherhood motherhood is beautiful it should be celebrated it should be nurtured it takes a village to raise a child so yeah let's be there for each other as mothers you know if you can live with the person who's a new mother why not like for the first year why not yeah there's just so many things that can be changed but we would stay here for the whole day and my baby needs to eat baby needs to burp my baby needs to mop and me needs to sleep Mm -hmm. exactly so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you thoroughly liked it if you're a mother and um you know someone who's a new mother maybe you can take something from this video and really change the things you say and the things you do maybe you have said some of these things to a new mother and now you realize that maybe you shouldn't say those things because it makes the mother almost regret having a child which is bad so yeah it's never too late to change what you've done i know i'm definitely not going i've never said any of those things like to someone i know who's a new mother uh, i've never said those things because i know how sort of damaging those words are so yeah man if you want to have a drink have a drink if you want to have a break have a break if you want to rest rest if you want to go out have fun on your day off do it do what makes you happy as a mother because before a mother you are a person and what makes you happy what makes you what makes you mentally physically and emotionally happy is what does that for you so do that yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you thoroughly enjoyed it you made it to the end so you did enjoy it there's a new segment motherhood segment hey and i had to i had to record this video because my nails are breaking these are my natural nails this one broke this one is on the verge of breaking you guys can't see but this one is on the verge of breaking and this one too this one has like broken in half so i just had to sit down and do this video because i still wanted to look cute you know so thank you guys so much do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss a beat and never miss a pause and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys when i say it back no okay he said no bye bye